welcome back to another speed build video. My name's Jess and today I'm building in Windenburg on a 20 by 20 lot and today's build is definitely a little bit unique. I envisioned this originally as like a psychic shop but of course we don't have that gameplay in The Sims at all but we do have paranormal stuff and I thought this would pair so well with the gameplay in that pack. And so I went ahead and made basically a build around the seance table. And I really, really, really love how this build came out. I will say it's um, actually the shape of the build is based on an image I saw on Pinterest, of course. And it was actually a dollhouse. So it's really crazy to see how something can kind of be translated into The Sims, uh, like dollhouses work really well for inspiration. Um, so just kind of interesting. Uh, and I had a lot of fun building this and really was glad I found that reference image. And as you can see, I'm using the fence pieces from Cottage Living and I wanted to build a fence around this build, but I didn't want it to be totally perfect. So I tried to use a mixture of the different pieces to kind of add a few jagged lines and now I'm moving on to the landscaping and the landscaping on this lot I really loved. I went a lot with um, trying to find things that really worked with those Realm of Magic windows that I used. So I used a lot of purple, mainly purple, in the landscaping and I really think it turned out so beautifully and you'll see a little later I stack up oh here we go a lot of wisteria and i just love how this looks and it also the roofing was a little awkward right there so i thought it kind of covered it up really nicely um and made it blend in a little bit better so definitely quite a bit of landscaping on this lot and as you can see i'm using a lot of the lavender pieces um just because obviously they work so well to add in those purple touches and I really, really liked how this turned out. And one thing I did decide to do was take the little rocks and, or, well, I guess they're normal size rocks, but I sized them down and around every patch of landscaping, I surrounded it with rocks. So I didn't make you watch all of it because it was very tedious, um, but you can see little portions here and there. And this was the final little patch in the back. And oh my goodness, that took such a long time, but it was totally worth it. It, I think, is so beautiful and I'm so happy with it. And you can see I'm just adding the final touches to the outdoor space. And I just really like how this um, outdoor space turned out, especially considering like I feel like it looks pretty welcoming for like a fortune teller shop. And I, I think it kind of goes with the vibe. Uh, that I was trying to go for on the interior and brings it to the exterior. So really, really loved that. So you can see I wor quickly worked on the entryway and just added a lot of stuff from Paranormal um, just because, of course, it works very well in this build. Now, I will say I thought there would be a better swatch in black. I really wanted this to be a really dark build. But in the seance table, the swatch in black just, I don't like it <laughs> at all. And so I went ahead and used the more turquoise and brown uh, table. And I think that just suited my aesthetic a little better. And then I think matched the Realm of Magic window okay. But yeah, I was a little disappointed in that because I've never built with a seance table before. And yeah, I just thought that was kind of a bummer that their swatches were so off because they have, as you can see, like on the shelf that's hanging up there, it's a really great black swatch. So I don't really know why they stopped um, at the like all the other items, but didn't go on to the seance table. I don't know. Anyways, just kind of all the weird discoveries you f figure out as you're building along the way. So one thing I wanted to do in this area was build like a little custom bookshelf because I just figured since this is a smaller space, um, the person living here would have to try and fill in just every nook and cranny. And of course, I wanted this to look really cluttered. And so I did a little bit of a custom bookshelf using some books from Debug. 
And I tried to just use like gray, black, and white to make it match in a little bit better. And you can see I'm just doing, just scooting them over and then I'm gonna elevate them up and sort of copy and paste so it goes all the right way across the shelf. So you can see a little bit of the finished um, area there, but you, in the final shots, you'll see more of that. So moving on to the little study room, I thought this would be perfect to just fill with some plants and a little computer. And I thought, you know, it's a business person who lives here, so they need a little study area. And now this little apartment area is definitely very tiny, but I made it work and I think it turned out so cute. I really, really loved it. And so just working on the small kitchen, a little bed area with curtains. I did use a lot of stuff from Movie Hangout and I thought it just suited it really nicely and brought in some of the turquoise color that is in the build. But we're actually coming to the end of this video. I'm just going to build a little bit of a gallery wall with some art off of the um, gallery itself and I'll be sure to link the creator down below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.